Hey guys and welcome back to another division video. Now today I want to show a build that I made focusing on this talent for the chess piece which is a gunslinger. Weapon swapping increases total weapon damage by 20% for 5 seconds. This buff is lost for 5 seconds if you weapon swap while at while it's active. So it's important that you wait 5 seconds. You don't immediately just swap guns that fast because you will get a debuff where you can't get the buff. Okay, so for those people that are just interested on like what items I used, I use um, Hunter set gear set for the mask, backpack, gloves, and knee pads. For the holster, I am using this uh, Dodge City Gunslinger holster. It gives weapon damage, weapon handling, and headshot damage, and it has a talent which is Quick Draw. While your pistol is holstered, gain a stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100. When you weapon swap to it, your first shot consumes the buff and deals 10% damage per stack. This deals headshot damage to anywhere you hit for your pistol. So while you're playing, you will have this icon at the bottom. I will zoom in. That icon right there on the right that uh, pistol that means that your buff is fully charged once the uh, bar at the bottom is filled up so your first shot for your handgun is a uh, guaranteed headshot and really deals a lot of damage i was able to get like 10 million damage burst damage right from just like one shot now those are the items for the armor for the weapon you have a uh, you know some choices but the most important one here is the sidearm which is a d50 all right so the d50 deals a lot of like total damage it's like for me it's the highest one you could get a d50 by using the survivalist uh, talent or i mean specialization but i was able to find this one and the most important thing here is that you have this talent here for d50 which is a finisher swapping to swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 30 percent critical hit chance and 30 percent critical hit damage for 15 seconds now this is modified so i just put it here it is really good and uh, it deals a lot of damage it buffs your it, bu it buffs your other guns for uh, 15 seconds because this talent requires you to swap from this weapon so you when you, when you switch to your shotgun and your smg uh you, you get additional uh, buff which is 30 percent critical hit chance and 30 percent critical hit damage okay so for the uh, main weapon i suggest that we use an smg and shotgun because i'm using hunter uh you could use a vector you could use dark winner if you go that route where you're not using an exotic uh let's say like um like this vector here right you could go and uh, use scorpio like this uh, setup it is really good scorpio is a great shotgun it inflicts like status elements and stuff it adds more uh crowd control in top on top of the uh hunter gear set because this gear set gives like a disorient when you kill an enemy that is marked and with uh with the backpack so that's a lot of cc but uh it depends you know if you want this setup then go ahead the other suggestion that i have is uh using lady death now if you're using this setup here the play style is just you run around and if you guys know lady death let's talk about lady death this gun kind of wants you to run around and while you're running around you get a buff and when you get when you have that buff each of each of your shots are, are really strong they're buffed by 75 uh, percent but uh, another setup that you might want to try it's a bit easier i this is like my uh, my best vector it's like this and then scorpio right so for if, if you're using this setup just put a bunch of critical hit chance on your smg critical hit chance critical hit chance and uh, 20 plus rounds that is nice that would put us around close to um 
60% critical hit chance. But for our Scorpio, we don't really have that um, extra critical hit chance. So when we're using Scorpio, we don't have like si close to 60, more of like 40% critical hit chance. But the thing is, I don't want to overcap and, um, you know, basically lose some stats. So I rather have those remaining mods or stats to be critical hit damage instead of um, critical hit chance. But that's just me. Right now, I'm look at, you're looking at like critical hit chance 58%, 121 critical hit damage. Again, my SHD level isn't really maxed out. I'm missing a few percentage here, probably uh, 5% or maybe more than 5%, maybe 7%. So that could be higher. Now let's go with the uh, stats on the items. Let's start off with the mask. I rolled in uh, armor. For the main attribute put in critical hit chance and critical hit damage as the mod for the chest piece now this is a pretty rare kind of like rng carry the thing but i was able to get this seska viroba which has like critical hit chance 10 percent built into it a little bit low weapon damage here but you could optimize that now for the attributes, I went for critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. And then the talent is a gunslinger. Now if you have like other staff, uh, I mean stats here, you could it could be like uh, headshot damage or weapon handling. That is also good. I was just lucky to have those uh, stats all together lined up. Really nice piece. For the uh, backpack, I'm I rolled in armor. Critical hit damage and critical hit damage. Now this uh, backpack has this uh, additional stat on it, which is overwhelming force. It extends the rages of the Apex Predator debuff here that disorients enemies from 5 meters to 10 meters. That is really good. I really like this. Uh, I like using this build on Dark Zone, although I don't really um, spend a lot of time in Dark Zone, but it, it stuns a bunch of enemies around, and I will show it later probably. Uh, for the gloves, I rolled in armor and critical hit damage. And for the knee pads, I rolled in um, critical hit damage, weapon damage. Again, you could like reduce the amount of blue cores. You could run with just two. You could run with all red. But me personally, I like having that survivability a bit. So I rolled in three blue cores there. For the um, skills, since we're using an SMG and a shotgun, I suggest that we go for the Crusader Ballistic Shield. We have shield health here. Another shield health mod. And lastly, Holster Regeneration. Now you don't want to face tank enemies here, all right? We don't have like a really strong shield. It's only a tier three, all right? This is not a tank build. That is just there because I think that is the best choice since we're using these type of weapons, SMG and shotgun. For the other skill, just for survivability, I went for Reviver Hive, the mods, Duration, Reviver Armor Repair, and Range. Also, let's talk about the Hunter, um, Hunter's Fury. Two pieces gives you 15% shotgun damage and 15% SMG damage. That's why we are using those type of weapons. It also gives you 20% armor on kill, which is very nice, and 100% health on kill. This is a very good set. It has like a bunch of uh, survivability, sustain, uh, nice for soloing Dark Zone. If you're wearing the four pieces, we get the talent Apex uh, Predator. Enemies within 15 meters of you receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%, right? Killing a debuffed enemy within your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters. So if you kill an enemy, if that enemy has like uh, other enemies within 5 meters, they get disorient and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds. So 
uh you could chain it you could like kill this enemy here and then the next enemy gets disoriented and it's, it just like goes over and over again and just passes like that disorient effect and i really like the backpack all right i really like the backpack because it does extend the uh, radius of that apex predator from five meters to ten meters okay so here we are at the shooting range right now you can see that target dummy from afar it is 15 meters i would zoom in just in case you guys don't know that's the measurement if we move this here to 10 meters that training dummy will have a debuff which i will zoom in that icon right there means that it is affected by apex predator that is the passive that you get from wearing four piece hunter's fury apex predator right and the damage that you deal for for, uh, for these enemies that have this icon is amplified by 20 percent also if you kill this enemy enemies that are near that enemy 10 meters since we're wearing the backpack gets disoriented as well okay so let's say you're using this setup which uses the scorpio as your exotic weapon instead of lady death smg before engaging the enemy you want to swap to your other weapon for this one i'm using scorpio you can see it there at the bottom the buff is active i will zoom in right make sure that you before you swap out to your smg or other weapons like a sidearm make sure that the buff is gone otherwise if you swap too early let me show here i'm gonna zoom in it will become that gray icon on the right that means that you don't get the buff so make sure that you wait a bit you know maybe empty the magazine right let's see let's like like this look at the buff maybe two shots and then before swapping out to your uh, shotgun right after that icon is gone and the holster buff is active you can see it there it was 10 million damage that is like um coming from the sidearm make sure that before you swap out into your smg again that the uh, icon of the gunslinger is gone all right it's important that you kill the enemy if you swap to your uh, main weapon you get a buff there i will zoom in that coffin icon right there is the one talent on the handgun which is a um, finisher which gives you 30 percent critical hit chance and critical hit damage on your swap make sure that the buff the gunslinger buff is gone before you swap out let's see here i'm gonna use my handgun and after that you know just wait for the gunslinger icon to disappear and when you switch to your smg again you will get that buff the coffin buff anyways that's it guys i'm gonna show some gameplay but basically that's how you play the build if you're using your lady death i suggest that you run around with lady death first and then just empty the uh, first buffed um shots with lady death and then swap out your handgun and then to your shotgun right that's just an idea i think that's like huge burst damage so for this one i'm not using lady death i'm using scorpio i just like the status effects that it inflicts remember that you need to swap to the next weapon once the gunslinger buff is out so for me it's a bit different compared to other builds i what i do is that i just try to empty two magazines of the smg and maybe two full magazines of the shotgun and then i switch to the handgun now you could save that handgun buffed shot on yellow or elite enemies or really strong enemies or could you i would suggest that you just use it you know even if the target is just a red enemy just make sure that you use it every time uh, the reason why i said earlier that you know maybe just practice using two full magazines because it's kind of like stressful to look at the buffs that are active over and over again instead of like looking at the enemies on the screen remember that the gunslinger buff also applies to your handgun so before you swap out after that first large 
burst shot from your handgun. Wait at least like 5 seconds, maybe empty all the magazine of the handgun before you swap out your SMG or shotgun. Because if you swap out too early, you will get that debuff from Gunslinger. For me, it took me a while before I realize that you know like immediately when i see the large number like for example 10 to 13 million damage i immediately want to swap to my smg you know just remember that there are remaining bullets on your hand and you could use before you swap out to your next weapon anyways guys that's about it uh, just a fun little build that i uh, came up with who knows maybe it's good on pvp if you're using lady death and you're running around you know empty lady death and then swap to your handgun one shot someone i don't know i haven't really tested it on pvp but that's about it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next video